There are a lot of game engines out there and most people will say use Unreal or Unity, but for my latest game I didn't. I've actually switched to a less known engine called Construct. So here's why. So why did I switch? For years I used Unreal, but being a solo dev and wanting to actually shift focus towards 2D, this engine, being very advanced and demanding, no longer seemed to fit as well with the projects I was creating. So I wanted to simplify the process so I could put more effort into design and the overall vision of this project. I also want to finally publish a game and this was one of the core goals of this change as in Unreal I found I was constantly bouncing around different projects and I just never got anything finished. And then lastly I want to speed things up. I need something faster for prototyping and just to get things finished. So why did I land on Construct? I tried lots of game engines and the main one being Unity which is known for being the go to when it comes to mobile games. But after a few weeks I just knew it will not for me. I much more enjoy designing, putting things together and drawing, you know, things like that, whilst Unity is all about code. I watched several tutorials from CodeMonkey and even though he's great at what he does, I eventually just found it tiring and having to constantly go back and forth fixing the scripts. I just wasn't excited about it and I didn't want to spend all that time learning a new language I wasn't enjoying. So eventually when I found Construct, the first thing that stood out was visual scripting and the no code needed. Now at first that sounded too good to be true, or I was worried it could be too limited. You know, but after giving it a go, I was instantly enjoying it a lot more and it allowed me to put together ideas so much faster. And I could instantly preview the projects too, so I could just go back and forth and iterate things much easier. It also has lots of built-in behaviours and effects, which also simplified things further for me. This worked out great as I was able to put more focus on my artwork in Illustrator and then just get into the game faster and it became so much more of an enjoyable workflow for me. Construct also has lots of demo projects, this was one thing that I found very helpful. They have loads of demo projects and you can actually open those up and get the files. This was great because it allows you to backwards engineer everything a lot quicker. And it's great because you can pick things apart and very quickly you, I was able to learn how everything works and then you know take that and use it in my own projects. So what can you actually make in Construct? Now it's a primary 2D engine so the most things you can make it's made for 2D. However, as you can see on screen right now, I've also been working on other projects where you can now use 3D, there are plugins available, and they do have some native 3D support too. So this works great for stylized simple projects, especially if you're a solo dev, I've found this so much easier. And what you see on screen right now is an, is an example of a game I'm currently working on. Using some 3D models and plugins, I'm actually making a 3D game in this engine. So I've actually kind of flipped around and I've gone from 3D to 2D and now using 3D in a 2D engine. So it's a bit weird, but it works. Also, one thing I'll clear is a lot of misconception. It's not just for 2D platformers. A lot of people see it as, you know, you drag it in, you just make simple platformers. Now, if you're new to games, this is great. Like if you want to learn how to make games and make 2D platformers, things like that, you can have a platformer made in five minutes. It's dead simple. You can create a sprite, drag a behavior on it, and you've already got a character moving around. So if you want to learn how to make games the quickest way, I honestly do think this is one of the fastest ways you can learn how to make games. And then also as I dove in deeper into this game and I wanted more functionality and I needed more advanced features, it does have access to scale it up, there are lots of plugins, and also it does have access to JavaScript itself if you want code. And there's also again plugins for, you know, you could even add Python, things like that. There's a lot you can do with this engine. And you can also export it all to many platforms. It's got Steam support, it's got mobile support, so yeah. Now what are the trade-offs of this? So of course, there are going to be a lot of limitations in this. So some of the main issues I've come across, like the problem solving I've had is, so let's say around lighting, things like that. I've had to be clever and use sprites to create shadows. There's less built-in 3D physics, so if you're wanting a full 3D game, you know, you want to create a shooter, something like that, then yeah, this is not for you. It can be done if you want to make some stylized version. It's definitely possible, but it's less it's less recommended. But if you want to make you know simple games, you're a solo dev, or even you want to make like you know mob like mobile games itself, you know, or web games. This is web based, so it's perfect for that. But the main the main strength it has got is the simplicity. It gives you speed, and you can focus on one element. You know, being a solo developer, you have to kind of work on loads of different areas. So this just takes the load off in that sense. If you want to be more of a designer than a developer, this allows you to focus more on your core ideas and less on the how it works and the development side. So is Construct for you? Should you actually use it? Personally, I think it's perfect for solo developers, 
artists, and people are looking for a fast prototype. You know, if you're just wanting to know how a game make, is made, you want to make something fast, or you're actually, you know, let's say you want to use a different engine, like Unity or, Const or uh, Unreal, sorry, but you want to get something out there quick. This is something I think, even when I move back to Unreal eventually, I will still use Construct for prototyping, because you can get your idea out there so much quicker, you can make something and actually see it in person. So it's great for that. It's not great if you need a full engine, 3D engine, or AAA tools, you know, ray trace and all these new high fidelity graphics. You're not getting that in Construct. It's more for 2D and it's best if you're an artist. You want to focus on 2D sprites, 2D animation, you know, niche things like that. In the end, it's a personal decision and maybe just try it and just see what works for you. I really thought I was going to enjoy Unity. I read online, everything said Unity is the best. And I believed it, you know, I, I, tried, I tried hard, I got into it. I built many projects actually, but I just didn't enjoy it. So sometimes, even if something seems like the best option, it just might not be the best for you. Maybe you don't respond well to it, or maybe you just don't enjoy it. There's no point doing something if you don't enjoy it. Especially with game design, it just takes all the fun out of it. Alright guys, so that's it. Hopefully you found that interesting or helpful. If you want to see how I use Construct to make games, also I've got on how I make 3D games, I have tutorials and full videos available now to show that process. Do subscribe if this helped or you're interested, I'm trying to get to 500. And yeah, so let me know, and take care, I'll see you in the next one.